again. You can feel it. I'm not entirely sure we're going to end up there again, because, you know, look at these drafts. It's a slightly different story here, you know. There's no Zeus in the game. Uh, drag things along. Both teams have uh, abilities. Your fives, uh, man. Yes. It's tough after that drow last game, isn't it? Because there's a PA on one side. Probably Navi. I I, I want to say, but uh, it's a it's tough, tough, tough call. I think. Uh, you know, I think gives it the edge. Fallen Scar and a Phoenix. That would that that would be the one. Boom. Yeah, egg. that might Can't be the, the the backbreaker. And, and that's kind of a, an interesting thing as well. Is like switching in this Phoenix. Navi, if they do find a scenario with on the high ground, that the high ground defense is similar to what it was last game, right? It's just the difference here is, as you said, VP, they have better means of taking buildings this time. 30 seconds to battle. Yeah, and, and, and their, their lineup, it, it, it's quite different, you know. We're going to have this strong PA with Black Ready. You have different ways of fighting, uh, finding target. They also have, you know, a much easier time taking rule. Definitely a different type of game. Navi going with a sort of similar strategy here once again with Avenged Drow. They got this tanky kind of mid laner who... The battle begins. Oh, fight and play make. Now this just surprised me a little bit because, you know, we have a little ties back and forth. And I thought uh, Navi, they do want that kind of front liner like I believe T mentioned, but then maybe a little bit extra initiation. I thought maybe they would have went for something like a, an Iceberg Kunker here because you, you are playing against the Viper as a DK. As this game goes on, is this a better laning matchup though than Kunka versus Imbo? Um, probably DK feels better overall. Okay. I mean, DK is just kind of happy, but yeah, I mean, it's a little bit surprising with the Viper all over there. You know, maybe it's just a comfort, comfort, comfort. Oh, or maybe Kunka yeah, maybe Kunka was banned. Oh, that might have been. It. That that might be. That might be one of the reasons. Uh, a new patch. Uh, this is what's going to happen. So you're going to get the option to revoke a bat. Now, I think we've done this one already, and it was a disgusting idea. We'll never do it. In terms of lanes, uh, it, like it should be a, a pretty easy lane for Iceberg in this situation, right? If you're playing against the the will be probably the Quaswex Invoker, and you have a way of reducing his pitiful damage with that free fire. Yeah, exactly. It Blood oh, Roger? Oh, oh that, that's, a, that's a little bit of a whoopsie there. The slows still only level one on the bird. That's one of the dangers. No armor he broke. Pace with the stifling dagger and the... Hard to run away. You know. Especially when you think about how long enchant last level one 3.75 seconds doesn't sound that long when you say it out loud but when you see it in action the amount of extra hits you get in on a chase is a bit ridiculous roger once again here oh the fire spirits here. they're poking Are a little bit you know they wanted to waste these fire spirits and but he's gonna get the this lane though i think pa should be Maybe a little bit annoying uh, against fire spirits. And in comparison, th this top lane, we saw the the viper last time and got some interesting yeah. kills on this lane. And do you see? Do you see the build on Always Wanna Fly this game? Do you see what he has? Oh, got the stun. Wow. Got the stun. So you know, this is clearly him saying, "I think I can live this time, right?" Because clearly, last time he just done it on purpose. Always one flies that smart. Don't because he's he was playing against a ridiculous combo, right? Like if you got stuck in the cogs, you knew you were always dead because of that never toxin. This time around, maybe a little bit more tricky for save because you know shards, you do have a way of running out of them. Yeah, no, it slightly different lane, you know, not as scary perhaps. Clockwork, of course. They are pressuring Roger a lot. Eventually, I think that pressure sort of transferred onto General. Roger has to sort of stay away from. That's a worrying for as well. Usually, the reason you pick Clock in the free is you know you should be able to kind of easily get your levels, one or two quick little items, and then if you need, you can kind of convert to that four roll. 
that's where having this Phoenix can be good for you, right? A hero that is usually considered kind of greedy from an XP perspective. Yeah, it, it's a little bit, uh, I think, for general. A little bit of a liability, but later on, you know, the egg can prove quite. We don't have amazing tower hit uh, egg hitters, but but they're also not that bad. You know, Viper is okay. Invoker with alacrity, perhaps. Not the, not the worst. That's the thing. Like this Viper, I mean, he could. And I'm not sure if he'll take the life steal attack speed because I could imagine like a level 10 talent attack speed could allow him to just keep pace and sniping out the egg. But now he's gonna snipe out. My Rogers made the rotation to top though. They're gonna turn it. To no well, I don't know if it's gonna save him though. Multi shot comes out. DM is gonna go down first and always want to fly. We might even die. First. It's the start. It's, it's the reverse mount it. performance. It's gonna leave General down here as lonesome. But gonna get quite bullied here by Ilias. Sir, he is just gonna completely be allowed to go for you build this trying to farm up a store. Now, there is uh, another guy who's kind of free farming and chilling. That's Iceberg in the mid lane. Big lead over GPK already. Huge difference here. Uh, I guess yeah, I'm surprised it's this big. Uh, I mean, of course, it's, it's it, it should definitely be quite a favorable. Iceberg here. I also like the fact that Roger. That's that's a sad bird. There's any way he can rotate, Elias can match. Like you said, now the Epi kid's kind of free to do as he pleases. I mean, general doesn't really have the means to bully him off the lane. You know, he's got the barriers off for the moment, but every time that's a cooldown, you know Epi kid's just gonna free farm again. Yeah, Look he's this. They're rotating mid. Cold snap comes out. EMP as well. Save's going to come in with the snowball control. No man of the dragon tail. He has got the soul ring, but it would kill him and he knows it. Such a nice kill to find. It helps the invoker get back into this lane and game. Buys him a bit of time. It's also the... the didn't really take any damage Dyer's top tower is under yeah and it's gonna kind of begin to unlock gpk right because you this is a cross wex invoker you don't necessarily need much to Dyer's make things happen in this game but if you actually look at the entirety of vp's lineup it's it's all in support of this pa who as you already mentioned is off to a great start in the game the dusk is all now we have brought this sort of island down yeah but look who they left top yeah, no, exactly. They don't really want to be. Dyer's top tower has fallen. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> he, he didn't it? find the spot. He knows where he is. He'll try and run away. Luckily for him, there's no other VP heroes here. Although I say that, DM, he's just going to casually click this one down. Yeah, the, the pieces for general. Points. Low is just... Also, the dumb earn value because you just reduce his magic resistance to next to nothing. It's almost like you're just dishing out pure at that point. Top of the snap. As that happens, they actually managed to jump and always want to find the bot. General is now coming here. It's a level four clockwork. They're just trying to dodge out, I guess, and give V2 the best situation. But it feels like there's a little bit too much appeasement going on here right now. BP are getting too much from it. Yeah, the Draw Ranger is not really fun. Very nice hole. Oh, quite well in, in terms of just... Forced around quite a bit here. It, it's also, you can see that the, the... Kind of the real... Like, the person who sucked most this game. Only being level... Radiant 5, but, but his net worth is... Double damage. Not really on par with... The, uh, and, you know, say if he set a kind of a high mark for clockwork performances in the series in game one, this this start for general is going to make it hard for him to try and match that. Meanwhile, Ilias will at least be found in the top lane. Strolling into the drow territory is a big mistake there. Yeah, a bit of a bump there. For so this rate he should surpass the um, 
just continue to more or less suffer on the lane. He's going for the Atos build, so wants to be active, able to set up these kills a bit more. He's a decent way away. And the question is, is there anywhere like good you can park him right now, or is he just kind of stuck in this top lane, I guess? Probably going to hover around here a while. Uh, uh, might start. Can you imagine? He just 72 worth of Viper, and now he's back at it again. <laughs> Man, he's got Did, some... Didn't he say that he liked this hero in an interview? Some some, some mental 42. I, I do, you know, but but, but 72 minutes, man. Uh, quite a lot of Viper, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm in it for like a 35-minute game, you know? You, you do well in your lane and you... 72 minutes and then some? All right, well, hey. Yeah, we gotta walk away. I, I get yeah, what you nice. mean, though. It's the old oh, turnaround, though, Roger. Hung around too long. V2 already knew it was a bad idea, but Roger, he didn't get the memo. The shards are very nice. They're blocking it with. Uh, I spot. I, I, this, I mean, he, he baited himself into this one. He thought he could fight with a pitiful little enchantress instead. It's going to be a double kill for DM. Always want to fly. He's also going to be found. They wanted a high five and he refused to give it to him. So they'll just take his life instead. And the tier one tower next. Yeah, and, and this is when the Vipers... This should make my life I can easier. leave this top area. Not really anyone there anymore. I was scared of going in. <laughs> there by the Radiant, they were just there. Well. Middle tower is under attack. So Viper can just leave there. Dyer's it's fine. We're just gonna go to mid and take this. Get tier one and try to take over as much map as uh, possible. They're, they're trying to defend this. This may be a mistake. Ice Pellet is in a lot of trouble. He's gone. And always want to fly. He's going to join him again by looks of it. They find save, but not one. Double Cavillius. They, they maybe at least keep this tower up, but it's like at what cost? Because you even brought V Tune here. I don't know if he wants to hang around this mid lane for long. Yeah, I'm not sure really what Iceberg is up to. Like all three of his deaths so far have been quite. Um, I don't know, uh, just... Very always want to fly you, right? Like, I'm doing this for space. Yeah, he's just not very cautious. Not, not very cautious and just kind of like walking to areas where he, he shouldn't be. Perhaps the, the, the longevity of the... Dyer are scamming. He gets in the game too. Like, what exciting hero have you got? You picked me, PK. You picked me, another hero. This to hit tap. Okay. But I want, I want a playmaker, man. I want some of fun that moves around. Look what GPK got this game around. Yeah, I mean, he gets to play Zeus Invoker. I'm, I'm, I'm exactly. Dragonite Death Prophet. Like, what? What the fuck? Is that what you, you guys want me to get hit? <laughs> exactly. I mean, uh, you know, his his name is Iceberg, which does make you think like a unmovable object. But he's, he's been shattering. Yeah, I mean, a he's also a boxer, already. right? Yeah. Give him Tusk mid, that's what we're getting out here. Oh, I miss, miss those good old days of the Deso Rush mid Tusk. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Long what good old time. days of Deso Rush Tusk? <laughs> uh, do you remember like, like 20, I think it was like 2012, 2013 when the hero just didn't feel good really in any role. I think that was a long time ago. Back before he got tag team, you remember the old sigil? I know you had some time. I, I remember the sigil. I mean, the sigil was a oh. that was a pretty dope spell. Radiant I think. Structures oh yeah. Are fortified. It was very annoying to deal with. Uh, it, it, it kind of feels like in some ways they trivialized the hero. I remember they first made the tag team change, and it was just broken. But no one was picking it because there was too many tournaments going on, right? Like no one had a chance to practice it. And then people realized not only did it have all these weird cheesy broken combos, but actually getting a ridiculous Dyer's amount of, of extra damage. Fallen. I think it was I think it was on the 12 or 15 second cooldown from level one was a little bit broken. Radiance bottom tower is under Yeah, attack. tag team in Plus Chen combo that file was just X speed and <laughs> something else. I'm glad to see the hero get picked a little bit more. It feels like it's been a while since we'd, we'd seen him. Dyer's Especially seeing as there's been a attack. shift away from these Roman supports to the 2-1-2 two, two map for quite a long time. Dyer's structures uh, Rogers are had sort of a rough start. I mean, he's got Dyer's some great ambitions here. Is under attack. Hard. You know, stages. I mean, the question is how much map will Radiant's be taken for. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. 
how much space will Navi get, you know? Yeah, enough space. I mean, that's the thing, right? Look, look at the difference these two lineups. You've got a Drow and a Dragon Knight, Radiant's and they've only taken tower. one tower, while BP are about to take their third one. Dyer's top tower is under yeah, and I Iceberg is queuing up a blink, right? So he's not really going to get stronger than he is in terms of fighting capability. You get on top of a target, you can stun, maybe try to get, you know... That's squishy, Dyer's you know? You have to save in the Tusk. Dalian already, so they're going for... Radiant's bottom tower Last game. is under attack. Yeah, and then you're going to blink in, you're going to throw out a stun, but if DM's anywhere nearby, you don't necessarily have their raw health to keep yourself alive as this Dragon Knight. So the Nether Toxin, a lot of this uh, innate tankiness, don't really feel as, uh, as normally do on this Dragon oh, Especially against the PA of all heroes in this type of game. We could end up seeing those situations where a Dragon Knight gets one or two hit. It's later stages, if he doesn't, you know, do the scale. Yeah, he's already got the Battle Fury now hit, so he's gonna start to ramp up a little bit here. They've... The smoke movement by the side of VP will be off the mark. They don't actually spot anyone. They're looking in the wrong place. Uh, a reasonable guess, though, Radiant considering Navi standing. just opened up this area, maybe they were going to try and Radiant's destroy it and use it. Navi, they just keep moving as five. Yeah, they sort of have to move. Come and fight me. Very scary to play against this Tusk Invoke. Pickoff is very strong. Right now, oh, their spells God. are just strong for fighting. Oh. I'd find the Viper here, though. Quite a nice kill here. General, he's got the hook shot. Gets vision. Ilias will be the kill. They'll move in. Multi shot through. We'll clean him up. Easy piece. Big wave not here though, and they did just commit the Elder Dragon form. So the question is, Navi, like, what do you do with this ultimate now? I think you're really happy with that. There, there was a large smoke movement by five heroes. All you gave up was your five enchantress. That, that's got some level six enchantress. You read. Very happy. Especially when that kind of that that attempt that only getting you that, you kind of look at Epic Kid and it feels like there's situations where you talk about an Alk still farming. Because this guy is beginning to accelerate. Like he's the only one Mithril Hammer off having that death. So and a VP at that stage, the one kill could easily lead them to go take Roche and all of a sudden Navi will be just clustered inside their base. Yeah, I mean, he, he was like 300 gold ahead of the draw ranger, but with the help of that stack, another ancient camp just. Radiance oh, bottom kills. tower is under attack. Shot gets general That's out, but barely. Burns one by one. I mean, we fall. saw how amazing Hookshot can be in the late game, but this is painful to have to do in the early game. It's only 60 seconds, but Clockwork is that type of hero, especially in the core role, right? That you just kind of need to keep finding kills. Yeah. It, it, they have four heroes bar draw ranger now uh, with, with kind of the, the not the start that iceberg had but sort of the follow-up to that state set him back so much up there he was quite far ahead he was top armor for a while <clears throat> now with all these deaths sort of transitioning more almost as a supporters role and clockwork is not really a scaling uh, healing hero in, in that same tradition i think roger and and you know to some extent even iceberg eventually they're gonna have to take up a lot of the the slack uh, i i think you're right on that right iceberg his his lane was very chill and then obviously plus comes in makes it a little bit too cold for him and now yeah he's going for the bkb next but it really feels like he's kind of just a scouting tool to set up for this drow which was even more pressure on Vtune in a game where he could very easily get caught out. Also with the... Oh. Oh, oh. Are they going to do it? They're going to go? General, the ice shard. Max range clip, but they cannot force the hook shot out of him, though. Save. We we'll use the snowball. It should allow him to get away. The hook shot being primed up. General's going to win. Oh! Save! They'll turn around with a Warrior's Punch. They're going to burn him down. He will die. The Sunstrike not good enough to kill off General, but my god, did he make him work for it. 
Yeah, they had to in, in quite a lot to Radiance house middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. 50 extra cast range talent. Foul. See him use it, because you see the draw. They might go for a different target. Dagger out. He decides that's enough scare wave V2, and they just wanted to try and protect the tower, but it is going to fall. Yeah, GPK just casually throwing. Hope you like Italian. Well, now with the Dessa, though, and with the Dragon Form used like that, you can already see what VP's intent is, and this will not take long. Maxed out on the tag team. Italian as well, Alacrity, Byrosh. Yeah. Look at General. He really wants to help out here, but the amount of things blocking his way. Yep. Now, not only do they get an Aegis, they might just get a bonus kill on the side. Ice Wall goes down to zone away reinforcements. The Blade Mail will not protect him as General falls. They're used to be there. Rumor has it. Pretty quickly. Yep. They're so safe up with oh. the value. GPK? All right, you're confident, but this is a little bit too confident. Epic Kid is going to try and salvage this. But V2 just poking a prod at him. He's going to lose the Aegis. X going to go down. And he has no way of final striking out range of this. They're trying to escape. They're going to lose another one. Triple kill already for V2. He's going to start to right click into the PA next. Epic Kid is also going to fall with the Moe shot. The Viper going to be brought down. It's an ultra kill for V2. And immediately, as soon as VP get a big advantage in that Aegis, Na'Vi slaps it out of their hands and takes it back. Yeah, they, uh, uh, strange sort of commitment there. I, I'm not sure. Hey, you ran up there. He was... God, it, I, I, I mean, you're feeling confident, right? They're like, oh, we got this lead. You know, we got this big advice. There's no way that Na'Vi are going to fight us. Yet somehow, v was able to stand still and click on heroes at his own leisure for the entirety of that fight. Yeah, v just... Now, when you look at the net worth, he's caught up complete with Epi. Over 100 gold split between them. I guess yeah, they're, they're overtaking the PS. He's not gonna back. Uh, now you kind of have to think things a little bit. You're gonna have to be happy with that eight. Kind of threw it away. How does actually. He can get away with this because general in terms of, like what do you really need in a Radiant clockwork in this game? Scanning. Like the blade mail kind of does what is needed. You can see he's actually just gonna queue up an e-blade next and the ags as well. So these items that will help, but when you think about what's gonna give you more value is that the Phoenix of the clockwork in this game, he understands that he is then he's actually now the possible clockwork. Yeah, it's Radiant's really fine. Is under attack. Radiant structure is definitely just fortified. Dyer's structures are fortified. And they're level 10. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Egg is going to be. No, he's got me down. How? What a network he's got. He, he's not that easy to kill. The mentor to get out of the net. The... Cautious. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. No, and he, and he's he's not looking to be static, Drow, right? He's not just looking to sit there, do the big clicks, build the list like we saw last game. He's going for the silver edge. He understands. Actually, like we have to bring the fight to a PA because if you try and poke a prod at this hero, attack. it's gonna jump on you from a screen away and kill you. Yeah, and, and the silver edge this game, while I, I usually just. Incoming! Mobility is gonna be quite nice. <laughs> Limited amount of gun on VP. Do you have any direct? Dagger. Lockdown is not that reliable. Must definitely. It's always hard to stick on a classic Venge Drow combo. We talked about it enough. It's even if you get, even if you get this blink and you manage to get that initial walrus punch, there's always going to be that save coming out of always want to fly. 
And then the question is, where's VP's second line of initiation in this game? Does it exist? It just depends on how the fight breaks. <clears throat> They're going to have this timing where he is going to be very strong with... Find the right target now. Oh, Dragonite. That's a Shiva score. So not easy pick. It used to feel like, you know, total raid boss, but now even with the... Of, of these now, uh, well, not gonna feel always but let's see if it does pay off. Iceberg, he goes in, he wants to fight. Epic, he moves forward. Quits come out. Phoenix is dead. No chance to use the egg. Snowball buys some time for save. The BKBs run out soon, but Iceberg he needs to get more value out of this right now. They're gonna bring down the Tusk, but they've lost the bench as well. They'll move in. Hook shot in clockwork. Trying to control them up. Epic needs to retreat away. V2 staying out of range of TM. There is gonna be a Phantom jump away. He's able to actually move over the side. PA barely alive. And the missed chance. They will not save him. Iceberg gets the kill, but will burn up in the meatball himself. Four dead on the side of Na'Vi. They do keep V2 alive. <laughs> And still, he will just about live. The sun strike is not enough to finish him off, but a definitive win in the fight for VP. Roger just... I mean, uh, I said that they are not going to be as squishy anymore, but, but Roger did not really look like a Phoenix that are there with Tusk with the tag team. Dalian, I think there was Alacrity maybe on. And that clumsy net as well. Just he didn't have a chance to react at all. Oh, and that's uh, kind of what... They have to find the right target, right? Makes this the, kind of the optimal target, unless you're getting not the best. Then the crazy part is that Navi they had vision of eyes there, right? Like VP had walked under a ward, they got exposed, so Navi kind of knew where everyone was, but still they were not able to react quick enough to that. It just kind of shows how quick this PA can initiate. That's kind of the critical one. With all that cast range on the Phantom Strike, it feels almost impossible to stay out of her view and out of her range. Yeah, the, the, the talent has been... Very difficult. Especially in a game like this, when you think about heroes like, like the Phoenix, right, that play very far back and... That's kind of their advice, is that they can counteract your move. That was a little bit more difficult. And, Ro and Roger, he put up the other. Oh, they have vision. Go. Moving in. Oh, that's going to the Iceberg Force to use the Elder Dragon for that. Kind of nonchalant. It, that's going to come back to bite him if they don't do anything with it now. For why he used the. I feel like this series hasn't really been, uh, it hasn't really been uh, like far, uh, I, it's scanning. strongest, uh, quite a few awkward engagements. Trying to use it. Been a little bit awkward, it might try epic it though. The Salvador hook shot in. PA stunned off the chain stuff that over with them though. Sunstruck on the side to try and protect the egg, but it's not gonna be good enough to get rid of it. And now Epic Kid swapped into the mix, trying to turn around onto this, but can he actually dish out the damage? He needs to retreat away from it. He knows Iceberg BKB is still running. DM is gonna try and zone them away, but V2 will turn around and punish him for it. They will be able to bring down Nihilus as well. General is gonna fall for it, however, and Epic Kid now being healed to that's that cast range game gets him away. Down and away from Iceberg, and that's a good time for Na'Vi to retreat because the Elder Dragon form did just run out. Stop thinking about it. Pop a net worth. Fight this P. Quite a lot again. Yay. All the all the agility guy, I mean, sitting at 76 and physical resist. PA dealing pretty much. Men too. Which is still a lot for a PA, but yeah, you definitely feel it. Even when you've got all this amp up, right, with the, the task, with the alacrity. It's, it's going to be the difference between V2 and being able to stand there and instantly dying. You know, it's not really a game where Epi Kid could rush towards the nullifier. Well, I say that, he's changed it up now. He says, okay, I, I'm going to have to get that next. He is going towards the nullifier, so he maybe is still going to lock the lockdown and is going to remain somewhat on the squishy side. Yeah, at the same time, the nullifier. Let's go for the... 
35% blur evasion, so not for the corruption talent. Ooh. Does have now the 84 slash 85%. Silver Drought, more value. Vibe Strike forced out. General goes in. He's got the cogs. He's going to trap him in with him. DM stands his ground. Turns around with the Never Tops doing a lot of work. Dive through. Can they do enough? The Iceberg. Too much work to be done. The Sunstreak's off the mark. One for one exchange. Phantom Assassin able to run away. As you said, 85% mischance. Good luck hitting me. But after that, they get a little bit of a bigger kill. Considering DM is continuing to scale and generally is, in fact, the pass four on this team. Now. Radiant are scanning. Yeah, kind of a nice kill. At the same time, they didn't really force anything. Yeah, there. No. And it felt like they might egg, but they, they realized there was no point, right? Like, there was it, no it way was to hold it. Five second then. cooldown, I think. Oh. Well, <laughs> he would have wanted to use Whoops. it. That's what I was wanting. Because it would have been. I think it maybe would have been awkward to chase targets at that point anyway, right? Like, it, I think only Iceberg was really in. They still had the cogs down that was blocking any sort of pursuit. Maybe it works out for them. Now they can use it at this critical moment. Because in 20 seconds, Roche will respawn. And I was actually just expecting that to be all I that died there. Because I'm just like from the last series, uh, the last game. I that I'm kind of just expecting him, expecting him to. This thing, this thing, understandable. Epic, it has to be KB. They're gonna need to run. But can they even get both out? GPK's in trouble. Four stuff up on the high ground, but feet soon hits too hard. Stops about. Oh, we always want to fight. Okay, you want him dead. There it is, but he's going to make it worthwhile. DM gets caught out. Is ran through. B2 finds Radiant's another. Two for one exchange. And all you get is an always want to fly a kill. But Truma has it. They're, they're not exactly rare. Regeneration. 11 0 5 so far. They're going to. Ages here. Probably cheese. Iceberg. Ooh. Despite having that kind of really shitty the mid game, now ahead of the Yeah. Yeah. Sort of an AC. I mean, it's the, really the good, drow, right? right? The drow just kind of unlocks. It's almost like you've got an extra item on you because of that Agi when you're in the other dragon form. So, so you can still dish out a lot in these fights. That AC is just going to be returning the favor to the drow. I just kind of find it funny in this game because think about DM, right? Like, yeah, these early kills net worth wise wasn't too good. But then we talked about earlier in this game, just completely dominating. And then in comparison, B2 who got roughed up is now roughing everyone up. Save! Ambitious to say the least. Playmail's going out with the clockwork, so he will be protected for the moment. They might reinitiate, though. They'll be able to find him. General does fall. Can't find anything bigger. And they should be able to as well, considering Iceberg is not there. He's showing on the bot lane. Yeah, it, it, I don't know, it's really strange somehow. It hit quite a lot despite having this 85%. Uh, the props there have just a ton of spell, spell damage. Yeah, I, 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 I think that's the other one. Yeah, like, the, I mean, because the more we shot, we saw how much damage it done, right? I think in the mid lane when he had a BKB, he got down to half HP. And then, of course, it's a 40% chance of marksmanship. Scanning. So if you do get a few mox, uh, marksman procs, this PA is going to be very sad. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how they interact. I guess it should over then evasion. Uh, it does marksmanship procs do have true strike, so yeah. it'd be. I, I, but is it the full damage or just the bonus? Is I think that is that what you're saying? Because I'm curious. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how how their interaction. I I, I suppose. A lot of damage coming on the tasks. Wow, one less enemy. <laughs> it's just so scary. I mean, you know, we met plenty of us have had that experience in our pub games where a drow builds a shadow blade, Radiant's but it's not usually this scary, but this lot. Radiant Oscar. No, it's also just the game that he's having. I also feel like he's itemized it. Blade, the man, everything. Not committing to a BGP or anything. Multiple. Radiant's Play these fights tower. and. They're just dishing it into the tarts. Of course, Iceberg in that dragon form is a machine gun in his own right as well. V2 doesn't even have to get close to the high ground, though. Yeah, high ground time. Radiant here. structures are fortified. Radiant's middle dropping tower is under attack. And he can wrap around the back, though, and he has to nullify now. Trying to deal with the creeps. 
go in. Cataclysm. They give her the DK. <laughs> okay, that's the real now. Epi Kid. He could backstab here. Sees a target. Looking to go in. Always want to fly. It's going to be gone. BKB activate. Hookshot comes out, though. They're trying to fight the PA. Clock work. He's going to keep him trapped in. Able to move away. The egg is going to go down, so they'll need to reset and retreat away from this. But DM is a little bit too slow. V2 will stay on top of him. The stuns will come out. They will find the Viper kill. But still, good play from VP. Good reveal from the Axe. And a big pick off on the Iceberg that will just stave away Na'Vi's first for blood. Yeah, once again, Iceberg beat. I'm not sure. I, I was kind of watching Epi Kid. I, I missed, but Bob coming out of all the fly and Iceberg pop the BTB. And uh, oh also, not able to. I guess he must have been somewhat out of position. Tusk. Surprising. Probably, I mean. probably the Tusk, because I, I was looking at the same thing. I was like, oh, Epi Kid. Now, will he backstab? And then you just see that kill. You're like, yeah, Epic Kid is gonna try for something here. Don't really expect this Dragonite to be dying with the. Quite the surprise, but VP, they're looking to surprise us. Like, whoa, whoa, don't count us out of this one, all right? We got 1k net worth, oh, please. You should fear us. Yeah, yeah I mean, especially still. Having the game. Got the Silver Edge now. Come uh, quite a bit easier. <laughs> Viper. I'll take that. Epic Kid, he's going to feel incredibly fragile. I mean, he already was in this game, but now if you go in, you need to make sure you know exactly where the draw is, I think is the critical thing here, because if you get caught with that Phantom Strike on cooldown, five seconds is more than enough time for V2 to end your life. Yeah, you need to be smart about how you... Pretty much on all heroes at the same time. No, but the, you, with the Avenge, able to go a Ranger. You also need to be worried about the Phoenix. Tanking all the egg, because egg is, is, is something you can't really fight against. Aegis no, is going to be reclaimed here. Perhaps going to sway them from, from going high ground here. Or at least make Dyer's them top tower is under attack. A little Dyer's bit reluctant. They might just wait for the next items because Roger, he's, he's got enough to buy on it, he will. He's got the Aeon Disc recipe that's going to fly out. Of course, he's keeping that component locked, but... I mean, that clutch save could be what completely cripples VP if they get caught off guard in these fights. Uh, I hadn't really known. Oh! Once again, pretty much Radiant sniper ranking. Scanning. Not more. Hey, Seeing at what, five. some thousand, thousand, a thousand plus. Yeah, we're, we're 36 minutes in as well. So, you know, no, no Raxes have uh, been deleted from the game yet. We could end up seeing a, a certain ridiculous item again. VP are praying that that item does not fall into the clutches of V2 two games in a row. Guys, I'm getting ahead of myself, but still. <laughs> you, you are, you are. I mean, the, 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 last, the last game was twice as long as this one. So, let's see. Still, no Rex, you know, approaching 40 minute mark. Not, not a single barracks. It has uh, a, lot of, a lot of sort of longer games. Hello, VP. They want to fly. Smoked up. On the Minotaur horn here. It's going to be very nice for him. He doesn't feel like he has to buy the. Iceberg. They know where he is. Even though you've proven he can die time and time again, very funny, haha. -ha. Not really the one you want to be initiating on if his team's standing behind him. Instead, they're trying to look for the soft sort of ability. long wrap around here. <laughs> kind of fine general, but... I love the way he just stands there. He's like, so, was this what you were expecting? And it wasn't. Yeah, I mean, they want out. there with the craggy gold. Bait mail. He doesn't really mind getting initiated. Hook shot in, long range. Connects on Epic Kid. BKB forced out, Roger's Eldis has already gone off the cold, bouncing around though, a little bit of trouble here, Capital's gonna come out, it's gonna go down, Drowse almost dead, V2, they can't find him though, he's swapped out, he's safe, Tusk 
Mask is down. The egg will go up and they need to retreat, but they've caught the Epic Kid. Can they stun him up? No, they go for Enchantress instead. They need to be careful. DK is hit up by the break. He's going to try for the TP out, but the Cold Snap's going to be there. They'll turn around. They'll take out Iceberg, but it looks like a Wing Water Fly wants to die alongside him. And he swaps himself into his death. GPK being turned around on, but they're going to move in. Epic Kid, he goes in. The Chris come out. They got rid of him. Beatoon is dead and gone. They're going to wipe the entirety of Na'Vi. Get the fight. Get the. Dyer's okay, there, uh, just under attack. Understanding, he has to get out of his egg. You know, he's just going in, out, in, out, in, dealing damage. Just making sure he's like living right on the edge. You know, not getting caught by all. all those. Yeah, I think the the blur evasion at that point, I play quite a far part there. Dyer's middle tower. Right, thanks this hero so potent. I mean, like, how do you how are you lock him in long enough? Can you lock him in long enough? Especially when he also has a satanic, so anything used to stun him, it doesn't feel like it's doing enough. And even if you do that, the save with these snowballs, able to just kind of hide him from the egg explosion, it just feels so hard to to punish Effie right now. And now they're gonna punish your base. Okay, we're, we're actually getting Raxus disappearing much quicker in this one. Should be two lanes, but that should be all VP take. They'll just back up after this, likely, and, and wait for Roche. Yeah, there's no, there was no buyback on this. Dyer's that bought this Eagle bought. Song buyback for him. Now all of a sudden, well, feeling pretty feeling it. fucky, man. <laughs> if you're here, there's a double damage top. It's gotta disappear. Ace rune less valuable. Roche would be very valuable. Up in 40 seconds. So both teams, they'll have everything available for this fight. Na'Vi, with what remains your base, staring you in the face, saying, please don't let VP hit me again. This might be the do or die Roche. Yeah, this Roche is... Timeless Relic or Spell Prism. You can just... It's not pick your poison, but uh, I don't know. I, I, what the <laughs> it's is. more pick your, pick your cake. Pick, pick, no, your, okay. pick your party. Pick your uh, pick your pickle. I, I don't know. I, I mean, like pickles. Has been I think killed. it's still poison. It's just in this situation, it's ram your poison of choice down your enemy's throats. Right? Like, you could even you could even spam spells, or yeah, you could go for a timeless relic because the cataclysms in these fights have been incredibly painful for specific members of Na'Vi. But look at this. That was a pretty early spawn, and fantastic. Tornado's coming through. It's going to be walled up in the air. Egg's going to be committed to secure, though. Hookshot in as well. Connect on the two is going to push them towards the explosion. And the jumping from Save is going to work against him. They get the Egg's cheese and the Refresher Shard. And they get a kill on Save. Dead for 100 seconds. No buyback. And the Hookshot in just as he's about to time out. He naps. General will die for him. the jump in. Iceberg trying to stay. He has to activate the BKB swap to get him away. The hit and the Epic in. Can they get rid of him? Quick enough. Panel's trying to get away. The burns are coming out here. The Egg doesn't clip on anyone. Jump in. Tornado interruption. Though, will stop the Phoenix in his tracks, but they will not try and turn this around. They'll be happy with the always want to fly kill. They cannot risk Epi Kid here. He's bought the Divine Rapier. I feel like this is a really. Like, not really in a very losing position. Committing to this Rapier now. I also think the fact is he's not that strong. Like, it's doesn't have any sort of attack speed item so unless you're hitting from the phantom strike attack speed is actually quite low you're relying somewhat on the alacrity most likely of oh, what well. hmm. but it's uh, it's very scary all of a sudden you know lose one fight then you you probably lose the game whereas we were in such either. a winning position seconds ago or just a few minutes ago no, I remember I saw someone on Reddit, they were like, this is outrageous. I build a Divine Rapier and I get reported by all my teammates. Now, this is the type of game where Epi Kid would probably have got reported by his teammates. He's, he's a ginormous liability for quite a long time, being over 2,000 gold away from having buyback. Yeah, and the thing is, even if you do I'll take that. need to farm up and buy a new item that is also going to have a large imp. Just boots. <laughs> Halbert now on uh, Iceberg. Lord. A bit more tanky here. So they're moving. 
They know, they have to. They, they, they can't kind of get in this status quo. Roger. He is here, but he has the Aundis. The egg is coming off cooldown. This is going to work out perfectly for Na'Vi if VP go. Instead, Na'Vi, they want to go. They smoke. Can't smoke. Sees him, the Glimmer Cape. Tornado out on the V2, because Yellen got his boots in. Eva jumping, stun reflected in the iceberg, and the right click's coming in. They jump straight the drought. Cataclysm as well, trying to punish this. Can they get rid of him? Yes! First life down, but the X is going to be there. It'll cover him when he comes back up. He ain't a bit trouble, needs to get out of it quick, but the control is too good! He's gone! They find the PA kill! And he is dead without buyback, which is very obvious by the pretty giant sword laying in the ground. V2 says, well, I'm already slow, but I'm definitely taking that. Let's go, boys. chug a chug a choo choo Na'Vi, game free. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, I think the VP, they just, they just, they gave them, you know, not just like the keys to their house, but also like the deed of, you know, like, <laughs> they, they gave them like, there's like here's the down the keys, here's, here's my like, wife, so here's, here's my, what we yeah, paid. My, my children, they will work for you. You can have my pets, everything else. I'll still pay for the pets though. Hook shot in, they're trying to defend this. They have to, they know it. So it would buy some time. On the V2, Gus to push him away. And they control him off. He's got the ghost set to protect himself. The E play. Nice swap out will get him out. He's on HP though. Tornado. My GPK chasing in. The ice ball goes down. They just turn around to bring him down instead. Buyback comes out. Warrior's punch is gonna be enough. The hero is an RV. There's too many of them. DM. The cat because they control them up. The bird is gone. Dead for 90 seconds, but they're gonna lose DM as well. Buyback will come out for the Phoenix. GPK is him versus the world. DM wants to back him up in this though. Venge being pushed away. They actually turn it around. Drow does not have the means to get back here in time. He will not buy back for this. And as a result, the rapier is back in the hands of VP. Wait, no, it's not. No, I spoke. You got it. He actually took it back with him. Oh, that, well, I mean, Iceberg, after the early mid game he had Pie Cat, we said he was having a few whoopsie moments. He says it's time for me to be the raid boss. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. Off his I feel like I just saw him buy a pair of treads. <laughs> he might off. I'm a little bit too excited, I think. Oh. Nedbroth is still not that amazing considering he just got gifted a rapier. Does the, the rapier net worth not count? It, it, it does. I, I think it does. I think maybe you just still, put maybe poorer than we realized. They're trying to end for it. For a win here, they, they don't want to buy back on the draw ranger. I love it. There it is. They'll do it now though. They paid them in a little bit too deep. Epic in trouble. BKB will go off. The X is going to be there. They need to run that in. Sunrise burning them down. Viper is gone. V2 and Hunt and looking for more. Nice jump away. GPK gives Epi the range to get out from the stun. General will have a nap time. They did force out the buyback, but they have lost a crucial element as DM is down and dead for a very long time without buyback. We're going to have to hold this 100 seconds against the Rapier Dragonite. He's not going to have his form though. That is uh, at least a Dyer's blessing for, been killed. for VP here. It's going to be kind of hard for him to deal damage. They might have to wait for by which... I mean, this game might uh, it might go on for a while. Under attack. All right. Seems I have predicted that you, maybe. <laughs> I mean, we could end up at tier five of this, right? Because there's going to be a reluctance, right? You just bought back on V2. Epic Kid doesn't have buyback. Both teams may just consider chilling for a bit. The, the problem is, if you do chill, that might favor VP here because Epic can farm his buyback. V2, he hasn't got it for a whole seven minutes. What? What might Epic? If at first you don't succeed, try, 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 try again. Yep, started just like that as you fall for a second. I mean, if he if he loses another rapier in this game, I think he just throws his keyboard across the room and just says, "Go game free." Of course, he has to get to it first. Is the real challenge. Here. Roger, uh, getting close to level twenty-five, but also a refresher orb. On this Shivas, he's got the magic lamp. I mean, it's almost impossible to keep the egg off. I want to have that extra uh, three, three dive into their face. Fight, Epic Egg, he's just okay. I'm running. 
But she understands that if he uses his GB time to hit the egg, then fight is lost, no matter what. It's the fact that, that you sit there, you're like, okay, actually, we need to kill v before we can kill the egg. So if the egg's there and you try and run it, you, you just sort of damage v does. If you jump with v first, egg goes off, some race hill. I'm like, it's just an impossible duo to deal with for VP. I, I think that's the real reason why now, this second, see, the second rapier pie cat I'm okay with from Effie Kid. The second one is not a game throwing rapier. No, I, I, I would agree that the second rapier, it makes a lot more sense than the first rapier. Because now you are in pretty of a sort of a awkward position here. Down 8k, even though you're up in back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, look who runs in towards you as well. Oh, they got with the own disc already. He used to dive as well. Watch yeah, it, he's now having to deal with Radiant the magic lamp attack. and the swamp. Well, not that easy to do. Do scare him away, okay? He knows his limits. Roger's like, no, no, no. I am as crucial as the drow to succeeding here. Yeah, he doesn't have buyback. In fact, they only top tower now just attack. coming up. Okay, but TP in. Radiant. Oh, man, I suppose gonna hate that. If he dies, just has to you know, buy back. It's like, great. Now I'm back to being immortal again. Yeah, he, he will just be sort of a... a Dragon Squire is correct. Now he's like a Dragon King, right? Oh, what's cool? <laughs> what's like the coolest knight title we can give him? Dragon, like Lord Thunder Dragon Knight? I, I don't know. Thunder sounds cool. Lord, I don't know. Lord Dragon Blood Killer Fire <laughs> Dragon. X, you've got the XX. It's the XX is right. And also the 53 because there are 50. Well, only 53. Ah, people are sleeping on that name. Dyer's bottom tower. The DM at least finding a pack. Have a camera here. Fallen. Bump up his HP just a little bit. But modern fights. He wanted to know Dyer's what the, uh, has been the dragon peasant looks like. I mean, the, the comparison between the two. Only 4K network between. Dyer's bottom he does feel like a little bit of a peasant in comparison to his right now. Roger. Look at him just run at them. Head goes down and Hippocus is gone. Hookshot in is going to find the Dragon Peasant. DM trying to move away. Forced off BKB out, but the second hookshot is there. They'll catch on to him. They'll kill him off. It's too dead on the side of VP. And it just looks so stupidly casual for V2 with all of this damage. I, I actually think that's like almost like probably Iceberg. Just all the DK with the... And the rapier, yep. the attack speed that he gets from draw ranger, the additional range that he gets from the bench. He is. <laughs> the area is like. Uh... No, he's like yeah. If you were doing a D and D campaign in five years, he's the final dragon. You know, at least they did buy enough time for. Oh, for the, the axe on the DK, but at least they bought t time for for the kid to buy this next rapier. You know, he's gonna gonna at least get to show it off. Uh, Iceberg did port <laughs> back to the base because he didn't have form there. Uh, that's true. And they are still gonna get the heroes it. back up. Still gonna be more more game to be played here. Of course it is the, the truly scary black dragon in this game. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if you catch him in the break, I, I can see the world in which Epic Kid slays him first. But otherwise, I'd be incredibly scared of this lad here. Uh, yep, that, that's one. You guys, uh, you guys, maybe want to? Because he seems to. Oh, okay. That's that's the second one to stop. Not a good one. That silly is gone. It's the buyback. Egg, they're just gonna egg. They got the glyph. The egg may have been a little bit premature. They have simple eggs. The triple egg. They're not gonna be able to stand that at all. They're gonna try. They have to. They go in. Epi kid with the BKB running out. He's in trouble. They're gonna run it through Cataclysm and try and do the damage. B2 brought low, but not low enough. They've lost their Epi kid. He has no buyback. Not V. They do lose the first life. Vegas is down, but how do you kill Drow the second time? DM is trying his best as he can. It's gonna be a four stop to get Drow away. He can just reset the try and stay on top, but save. What can he do now? Roar is punch out. He's just gonna fall as well. One by one, VP crumble. It looks like we are gonna get the game free. As Na'Vi turn around, they hit the throne. GG gets called. Na'Vi have done it. Na'Vi.
And, uh, you know, 69k advantage uh, last game, 39k.